Hey guys, it's Derek from the Olive Oil Co. Tonight we are making some olive wood smoked steak. That's right, tonight we are smoking! Not exactly, but we are using our olive wood smoked olive oil for this steak recipe. So, that is the only product you will need from our store. For our steaks this evening, we have some beautiful Denver steak cuts uh, from Old 99 Farm and Next Picks Organics. As you can see, there's some nice marbling in there. Uh, this is going to have a really nice chew for us. Um, first thing you want to do once you have these is you want to generously salt and pepper both sides. So I'm going to do... So the next thing you need to get is a couple of shallots. Uh, what we're gonna add to this is uh, two cloves of minced garlic. And then that's when you break out the olive wood smoked oil. So you might notice that with this marinade, there really isn't a lot of liquid to it. Uh, it's just still going to have some great flavor because the olive wood smoked olive oil does have uh, quite a strong flavor to it. So this is going to be amazing for our steaks. The next thing you want to get is a resealable bag. So first let's get our steaks in there. Next thing you want to toss in is our marinade mixture. And then for this recipe, you can use either rosemary or thyme. We are using a few sprigs of thyme for this recipe. I'm just gonna throw those in there too. Make sure you seal this up. Once that's all in there, obviously take the bag. Make sure all the sides get covered with your marinade. Those sprigs in there. Oh, the smell of that smoked oil coming through. It smells amazing. Now, one little tip here, because these are tougher steaks than a New York strip loin, which is actually supposed to be used in this recipe, uh, this doesn't have any acid for it so to break down the steak a little bit, so we are just throwing in a splash of our Neapolitan herb dark wall sandwich. So at this point, you want to throw that in your fridge for an hour and a half to two hours to marinate. So these are done marinating in the fridge. What we've done is we've uh, patted them dry. Uh, getting rid of all the excess uh, moisture and everything from inside the bag. Uh, what you want to do at this point is you just want to take a last little bit of olive wood smoked oil. Just give them a quick little baste. You want to do this both sides. Not much. And once these are done on both sides, then we're going to throw them in our cast iron skillet. So you want to heat up your skillet to about medium-high heat. Uh, we are going to sear our steaks for 30 seconds a side, and then we are going to cook these to our desired doneness. The smell coming off these is fantastic. Also, a little behind the scenes thing, we are making some smashed potatoes with the garlic olive oil and we're sprinkling some uh, fresh rosemary on top. Hold on. These look amazing. Sprinkle away. Some fresh rosemary, that garlic oil. Oh. You can't get any better than that. Now, once these steaks are done to your desired doneness, you want to get them on separate platter so that uh, you can let them rest for about 10 minutes. Oh, the smell coming off these steaks. Absolutely, basically I'm salivating just smelling these sitting here. Uh, I'm not going to plate this for the video, but I do want to get the nice cross section. Oh. 
that right there is gorgeous. Left it just a little bit pink in the middle. We usually like ours medium, medium well. Uh, this, you know what? From here. Mm. Does have a nice chew to it. It's not a super tender cut of beef, but man, that is packed full of flavor. This is another good one, guys. I'm gonna work on this for another minute, but I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. Tonight, we are making some olive wood smoked steaks with our olive wood smoked olive oil. That's a lot of olives. Beef, as you can see, it's got some nice marbling in it. This is just gonna have a, a nice chew to it. Let's try that again. <laughs>